I thought it went really well. Um, I thought the energy was there. I thought uh, we ran around pretty well. Um, I feel like you see the urgency that, you know, we want to be good and win. So I feel like it was a very good practice. What do you feel like, it's, uh, especially early on in camp, what's the biggest thing that this team is trying to accomplish as you move forward? Um, I think just as kind of we have new players and everybody just trying to find our identity, just, you know, meshing very well, just communicating, just finding that flow that, uh, on both sides of the ball. I think that's the main key for us right now. Do you, did you notice maybe with some of the off-season work, summer OTA, things of that nature, did you see some of the signs of that developing? Yeah, I think when you have, I think it's it's either three weeks or four weeks of just us out there, no coaches and everything, just very player-led uh, practices and workouts and everything. I think that's a period where you see big growth with the team. And I felt for like, for us, it was a very good key of leadership and just the way we wanted to go in the right direction. By my count, there, there are 40 players practicing. It's how much you play a bit more practicing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was very important, especially in that period with the no coaches. It's like you get to see, you know, who's going to step up as a leader, who's going to follow the rules when nobody's watching, you know, who wants to work when nobody's watching. And I think uh, that period right there is very key for our success that's going to come this season. Makai is uh, someone who I think he's the only running back returning in the league that's rushed over 1,000 yards. And you going against him in practice, I mean, just how big is he? How much have you seen him? Yeah, um, I think having like having somebody on your team like that, you very you feel very comfortable going against anybody when you go play anybody. When you have a guy like that facing him every day, it's like, man, if I'm facing the best every day, I can go play against anybody. So having him having him on the team with his capabilities and the way that he practices, I think it's very good for us as a defense. Knowing we're going against the best competition every practice. So when it comes to the game time, it's you've already seen the best. So you, you know, a lot of the conversation is going to be. Who will replace Michael Kraft, right? Mm-hmm. You've seen these two guys now through the spring and through the summer. And obviously, it's not close to it being a decision yet, but just how comfortable are you with each guy being able to lead this team in, uh, in the right way? Yeah, uh, leadership wise, I feel comfortable with both of them. I think within that time, like I keep going back to that time, but within that time that there was no coach and everything, I think people look at the quarterback a lot. They look at for them to be a leader, you know, call plays when the coach is not here. So I think that time, both of them did a really good job of taking control of the offense. So I feel personally comfortable with putting them out there. Obviously, the coaches are going to make their decision and everything. But from Kai and Ty, like, I, I'm, I feel very comfortable with them being out there. Just real quick, what's it like for the defense in this heat? Yeah, um, you know, I've been to New Orleans my whole life. So the new heat, for, this heat for me is just regular. But I think as a defense, just straining yourself every day, like our coach guys, you know, preaches to us, runs the ball no matter what. And so I think during practices, just straining hard is going to be key for us. And um, just going to accumulate it, accumulate it to the weather. You know, some of these guys that haven't played New Orleans before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think at linebacker, we feel very confident. You know, Zeus had a big role for us. And he's still, he'll still be in a big role for us leadership-wise, just looking after the guys and everything. But I think... As a collective group, I think we're comfortable with putting anybody out there right now, just from knowledge-wise and physically. I think uh, his balance makes him very, very good. Um, his acceleration at the point of contact is very good. He breaks tackles really well. It's, re- it's really hard to just have one person tackle him one-on-one. So I think he's very good at that. Um, and just, he's, he works his ass off. You know, I think that's something that he does very well. You know, you can you can count on him in times when people look tired and everything, and you know he's always working. So, Patrick Jenkins, someone that's been a force up the middle to have him back. I mean, just how good is it, and how good is he without there? Yeah. So me and Pat, you know, we actually me and Pat played against each other in a spring game in high school when he was at John Eric playing Holy Cross, and he won't admit that I, you know, I won, but it's whatever. <laughs> um, but now having him on our team is, you know, very, very good. He's, he's the best I think that gets at that D tackle, and for him to be on our team is just a blessing. And for you, what are your like personal goals coming to this? Team? Yeah, personal goals for one is the biggest. Still chasing the championship. Still chasing that championship. Two, uh, just improving myself as a linebacker overall. Like 
I still feel like I have a lot to learn, a lot to get better at. And then um, three, just at the end of the season, just having myself in a great position, you know, to keep playing football. Just um, in trying to keep playing football, um, what was it like? How much do you think about that? Like, how much do you talk about that as far as, like, hey, I know I need to get better at this thing or that thing to reach the next level? Yeah, so I think personally being a good team, you know, gets more eyes. So winning championships and everything is going to help yourself. So it's more of like you want you don't want to be selfish because you're giving everything to the team, but in some ways you need to be selfish in the aspects of you want to get yourself better so that teammates can rely on you. But I think winning championships and winning games gets more eyes on you. And when you play against bigger teams and you win, like scouts and everybody will notice that. So I think, uh, you know, just doing well as a team will, will also help you get to the next level personally for yourself. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Hughes.